Hey, what's up, everyone, and welcome to the Quarantine Happy Hour. This is a very important and special show as well. Um, we have a very special guest on tonight. Our guest tonight, um, uh, Mr. Donna Totley, uh, will be will be talking about the um, San Air Pure. Oh, I'm sorry, San Air Clean Air and um, San Air um, IDS. And basically, the San Air IDS um, is basically a complete purification center, uh, purification system uh, for your home in less than a lunch hour. So um, with that being said, let me bring him in. Let's give him a big hand for uh, Mr. Tolby here. All right, Mr. Tolby, how you doing today? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I am just fine. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. And, and first of all, let me welcome you to the quarantine happy hour. Um, I just want to say that, man, Safe Pass IDS, I did a lot of um, research on it. Um, and wow, I'm truly, truly impressed. And for those of you, um, if you're wondering what's going on right now, uh, basically what we're talking about is we just came out of a quarantine. And once again, we're now spiking. Once again, uh, with the virus, as you know, in certain areas. Um, and basically, um, what Mr. Totley is here tonight to discuss with you is um, his product, which is the uh, Safe, pa Safe Pass Clean Air System. And uh, first of all, can you tell me a little bit about the Safe Air Clean Air System and um, how it works? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll actually start by. Uh, backing it up a little bit to uh, let you know how I got started with it. You know, uh, when COVID initially started, um, you know, I was in constant communication with my manufacturer in Malaysia, and I saw what was going on in other parts of the world to help mitigate the transmission of COVID. And one of them being these uh, walkthrough, you know, sanitation stations. You know, so what I decided to do is to, you know, kind of take my knowledge and expertise and to develop my own station. So I actually developed uh, a full body walkthrough disinfection station called uh, the Safe Pass IDS. Uh, essentially, um, you know, an individual will approach the, uh, the station. It will recognize whether or not they have on a mask or not, uh, as well as it will um, take their temperature. So if someone had uh, a normal temperature and they were wearing a mask, uh, it would allow them to proceed. Then they could take the hand sanitizer, step through the uh, the station where uh, it would be activated, and our all natural Safe Pass uh, clean air solution will be dispersed, uh, as well as we have a far low UVC uh, lamp. You know, so we offer three modes of disinfection, and then two initially of the federal mandates, which is the mask wearing and temperature scan. Um, you know, kind of fast forward uh, as, you know, we started developing, you know, um, you know, more technology. I was fortunate enough to partner with a company out of Australia called Sanair. Um, a, a scientist by the name of Daniel Massiali actually developed this um, solution uh, initially to uh, fight and deal with the, uh, the terrible mold issue that they have in Australia. So uh, initially, you know, 90, 95% of all homes in, the, in Australia, you know, have mold, black mold issues. You know, so this solution was developed specifically to combat, combat and, you know, uh, get rid of black mold. Uh, when COVID hit, they understood already that not only did the solution, uh, you know, kill mold, but also other germs, viruses, and bacteria. So they had gotten uh, four different independent lab studies uh, to actually show and test and prove that it actually kills uh, COVID. 
uh, both in the air and on, on surfaces. So this is actually a world's first technology, the only of its sort that's capable of killing germs in the air, uh, viruses that's also safe for humans to breathe. So what happens is the, uh, the gel uh, substance actually evaporates throughout the air. It'll saturate the air. And when it comes in contact with any germs, virus, or bacteria, it'll form like this lipid bilayer around it, uh, <clears throat> causing it to become inactive immediately without leaving behind any germination. Wow. So in, in essence, um, my mother could have this in her home because I'm constantly worried about my mom. Yes. My mom could have this in her home. And when pretty much when anyone walks in, even if they have the COVID virus, this would actually kill the virus in the air. Yes. So uh, this is actually this is one of the ways that it's sold just in a little canister form. Uh, where we have these uh, assisted blower units that actually help to, uh, you know, help it to disperse throughout the air and saturate the air a lot faster, as well as you can put them in your HVAC system. So essentially what it will do, if an uh, individual has, you know, COVID, it will constantly kill uh, those uh, virus germs that, that's in, and bacteria that's in the air. And, and of course, you need the virus need bacteria to, to latch on to. So it will kill both, you know, uh, and ultimately prevent people from, you know, getting uh -huh. a, a infected. So in essence, I mean, this is awesome because it's going to kill, not only that, it, if it kills in the air, if that person is infected with the virus, it kills that virus in the air. When that person leaves, those uh, particular uh, pathogens that reach the air are already dead. Is that what you're telling me also? Yes. I mean, so essentially what this does is that it alleviate, you know, uh, people, you know, before businesses needed to, you know, uh, do all of the fogging. Uh, this essentially alleviates, you know, individuals need to fog because there's a... Um, continuous, you know, cycle of, you know, just air saturation and killing the, the germs, viruses, and bacteria, as long as you have um, the product, you know, and, and actually, uh, I actually carry, you know, one of these wherever I go. Uh, there's in my vehicles. Uh, if I go to a restaurant, I set it on the, um, the table. Uh, if I'm at my son's basketball games, you know, I'm constantly, you know, even just sniffing. You know, because one of the things that I recognize and our team recognizes is that, you know, COVID needs to, um, if someone becomes affected with COVID, it rests in their nasal cavity for 24 to 48 hours before it takes hold. You know, so effectively by breathing this in, uh, you should receive some positive benefits and not just for reasons. I don't want to elaborate what those benefits are, but you could, you know, kind of fill in the blanks. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, and it makes total, I mean, 100% um, sense there. And um, let me ask you this. So how, now, I understand, how did you vet this? How, you know, how has it been proven that it will actually kill all types of germs and pathogens? Well, uh, the, the beauty of this is that it came to me from a, a highly reputable source. Um, you know, and I have one of the uh, the world's leading uh, infectious disease persons uh, and disinfection, um, you know, people on my staff, as well as one of the head epidemiologists for one of the major uh, hospitals uh, in the United States, as well as uh, a former, um, you know, president of one of the largest, you know, hospitals in the United States on uh, on staff uh, when. It initially came to me. We looked at it. We vetted it, you know, um, strongly uh, verified all of the uh, the independent lab studies and tests that were done, as well as all of the, uh, the case studies. Uh, but we actually took it a step further, you know, and when we brought it to the U.S., uh, some of our, you know, initial customers and people that were looking at it, you know, such as. Um, you know, the Smithsonian, they bought in OSHA to do a bio, bio burden reduction, you know, test to see, you know, if there, uh, if that efficacy was there. 
uh, the Kennedy Center, Daycon came on, uh, did some, you know, third party validations as well as Hartsfield Jackson Airport in Atlanta. They put it in all of their, um, you know, trains, buses. And um, so even now, uh, as of today, um, Air Asia, uh, which is, uh, I believe, the fourth largest international airport in the world, is using it throughout the airports as well. Uh, they're now going to be selling the solution to individual pa uh, passengers uh, as a way for the individual pass passengers uh, to basically safeguard themselves, where uh, the long-term goal is to actually get it uh, on the plane uh, itself in the um, AC units in the um, HVAC systems, but um, it actually has to go through uh, an international governing uh, aviation body. Uh, you know, but they uh, did enough studies, di did enough tests to actually get the information that they needed to move forward to, at the least, you know, be able to safeguard all of their uh, workers uh, and passengers uh, personally with it. So this is a product that, you know, uh, we really just introducing it to the uh, to the market and I really haven't done a, a huge uh, push yet because we're, we're going through, um, you know, applying for the uh, FDA EUA approval as well as the uh, uh, EPA approval. So once that happens, then we could really take it, you know, mainstream and really, you know, make some of the, uh, the claims that I'm reluctant to make at this point. I see. Now, I know now, right now, um, the schools are opening now. Um, as you know, next week, um, a lot of schools, uh, some of the schools have already started. Um, but uh, this would also be a good, uh, would you think that this would also be a good um, uh, thing for all of our schools as well? Uh, not only think I know. Uh, it, would, it, would, it would actually be that answer uh, whenever you have a group of individuals uh, you know, occupying the same space and, and even with, with kids, you know, no one's going to wear that mask continuously. Um, you know, there will be, you know, segments where people have to take off a mask even to, you know, eat um, or, or, or just talk. So uh, this essentially um, is the answer for not only, you know, schools, but a back to work solution for everyone, a transportation solution for individuals to be able to uh, fly, get on planes, trains, buses, and really feel comfortable uh, knowing that um, they are protected. So this is a, this is, 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 is can be used by anyone, right? This is safe for my, 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 yes. my dog. It's uh, safe for no matter how old, no matter how young, 100% safe. Yes, exactly. So uh, we, we've we done, and the, and the beauty of this product, and even with the FDA looking at it, um, is that we've done all of the, the research. Daniel, you know, Massey Alley, the scientist, uh, is actually more of a scientist than a businessman, you know, where he's uh, done and went the extra mile for, uh, validation and testing uh, to really prove that, you know, this is uh, a world's first technology that's not only the solution for, you know, COVID, uh, but the next pandemic, you know, the, the common cold, um, you know, black mold, aspergillus nitrous, which is, you know, a huge issue. Uh, so this uh, essentially is the answer for so many things. And uh, it's, you know, safe to touch, safe to breathe, um, you know, um, so, and it's an all natural product. So, <clears throat> so right now what I want to do, I want to leave the lines open. And what I did, uh, you guys was put a number out there for you. It's 919-709-3501. Again, the number is 919-709-3501. You can call in with any questions that you may have. Um, for uh, Donald uh, and, and so forth. Um, and look, I just want to say this, man, um, because to me, this is the answer. We came out of quarantine. 
And if we're not careful right, careful right now, we're going to end up going back into another quarantine. Um, and that's basically because so many places right now are actually right going right back to where they were. It's spiking. The numbers are extremely high. And, you know, um, this is like to me personally, this is a total package. And um, truly, uh, you guys, if, if you have not heard about this, well, now you have. And you can also call this number right now um, if you would like to find out how you can also purchase some yourself. Um, and this is not just for, you know, your personal use. Um, for any businesses that are watching right now, um, you can also give us a call, okay? Uh, no matter how, how, how large your business or how small your business is. Um, and now I'll, I'll even say, I'll even go further to say, if you have a small business, you definitely need it. If you're in small, you know, confined quarters like that, um, you would definitely need this product. Um, but places like schools, um, and like Mr. Tony said, um, your airlines, um, your large retail businesses, you know, um, this can be used everywhere. Um, and, you know, a lot of people are taking for granted um, what's going on with um, the spike right now. Um, some people are, hold on one second, got another call here. Okay, caller, you are on the line. Who am I speaking with? Maurice. Okay, Maurice, good to meet you. What's your question? Okay, uh, Mr. Tony. Do you like to know how much the gel caps are? Uh, each gel cap is uh, sixty dollars, and they last for approximately four to six weeks, uh, depending on you know the assisted airflow. So if you get one of the uh, the blower units, um, you know, and you have that constant uh, uh, air circulation, uh, it'll be closer to the uh, the four weeks the same as if you put one of the uh, the canisters inside of your HVAC system. Uh, in addition, we also have larger thousand gram gel caps that actually go in air handling units, um, as well as we we have the um, the spray solution as well. So if you don't mind, can you tell us once again, um, I know you just said it, uh, but once again, how long does the uh, the gel last? Just, uh, just yeah, one. so um, on average, uh, between four to six weeks. So, and, wow. and each of the gel caps come with, it's almost like a little air freshener top where you can open and close it. So, of course, if it's closed, uh, it doesn't allow for, you know, that evaporation to happen. So you'll uh, it'll last longer, but of course, you know, everyone needs to be protected. So you will want to leave that open. Uh, one of the other things that I, I, I have to mention, you know, given the fact that, you know, we have so many people that are vaccinated, unvaccinated, you know, there's really no way to tell, you know, which is which, but this is an excellent alternative for both, for one, for vaccinated people to remain safe and, and without getting reinfected. Uh, and then, you know, uh, for unvaccinated people to be able to, you know, protect themselves as well. Uh, you know, so um, this is really an excellent product for, you know, being able to mitigate that transmission of COVID and to really safeguard people. And that's really uh, what we intend to do. Uh, one of the um, easiest tests uh, that an individual can do is with one of the, the gel caps. Um, if anyone has like black mold issues, um, everyone knows that aspergillus nigris black mold is one of the, uh, the most difficult things to kill. And typically the only thing that can actually kill black mold is bleach. Uh, if you use one of these, you know, uh, canisters, place it, you know, in a room where you have black mold, what will happen is, immediately when before when you smell um you know mildew mildew is uh the direct result of um you know those um 
mildew spores, you know, being in the air. So what you'll notice is that those uh, spores will be killed immediately. So you will no longer smell the, uh, the mildew smell as well. Within about a week, you'll see that black uh, mildew start to turn to white or the gray to white. And then you can actually just sweep it off the wall. If you took one of our, uh, the, the spray solution, you can just spray it on the, uh, the mildew and wipe it off. Um, and this is, you know, a basic Bill Nye, the, Bill Nye the science guy, you know, experiment that you can do uh, with the understanding that if we can kill something that's a thousand times more difficult to kill than COVID, uh, you know, with with the simple, wow. and you can see that. That's you know. just, right. So that, that that's, that's one that of the things awesome. that I, I, mean, I would. Now, Now, how much of an area? Okay, so I have one canister. Mm -hmm. gel, okay, how much of the vicinity is that going to actually cover right. around it? Because I know earlier you said you take it with you everywhere. You take it to the ball games with your kids. Right. You so to, uh, in, in its in its standalone form, uh, essentially, it can cover up to a thousand square feet, but it may take. And this is open space. It may take. 36 to 48 hours to actually saturate that that amount of area when you add one of the blower units then that saturation of that uh, thousand open you know that thousand foot open space area will take two to four hours if you add it within your hvac wow. system you know you're down to 20 minutes you know uh, and these are really locations oh. where you have, you know, even if you have, you know, kind of that constant airflow opening and closing the doors where you want to resaturate that air quickly, you want to make sure that you have the assisted blower units or at least um, it in the HVAC system. And what we recommend for businesses is that you have a combination of both because being able to have your customers visually see um something being done in addition to having our safe pass certified you know stickers is an excellent you know kind of consumer confidence tool uh to have um and and, and now this is another thing that you know i want to talk about because truly with it coming through your ac your air conditioning or your heating i mean that's that's covering everything because there's going to be vents in every room for most people uh, yeah. and even if you have a window unit which is my next question if you have a window unit is it going to pretty much do the the same thing because i'm thinking you get that cool air all through your home even if you have a window unit right well the window the unit thing, typically um, is isolated for you know one room um and we do have mm -hmm. um the uh, the gel packs for the window units, uh, but we actually aren't introducing those to the U.S. just yet. Uh, you know, so to start, okay. we're really just focusing on the uh, the gel caps, uh, the uh, air handling. We do have the uh, the all natural solution, uh, which is both the mold and surface sanitizer, as well as the personal spray. Uh, you know, so I wish I had some on me uh, because. You know, this is actually a solution that you can wash the dishes, mop the floor, and spray directly in your face. You know, so I actually wow. spray it and, on you, you know, as well. And for those of you who don't know, if you are still, you know, I'm, I'm very cautious when I'm out in the public. I'm still wearing my mask. I don't care where I go. That's just who I am. Um, you know, um, and COVID at this point has affected everyone. And when I say everyone, because we all know someone within our family, whether it be family member, close friends, that's been affected by it. This, my friends, if you are paying attention, um, here's your answer to live a more comfortable life with a little bit less stress. Because not only do you, you know, get to keep, well, not, not only will you have this in your home, but you actually can take this with you no matter where and you know, wherever you go. So in your space, you're keeping your space protected outside the mask. So 
Mr. Totley, let me ask you this question. Outside of that mask, let's say if I'm I'm in a place, like you said, at a at a, a ball game, a basketball game, uh, we're inside the gymnasium. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I got this with me. Now that's not a thousand feet. I'm just saying with me and my wife and whomever else. Would you say that that little space there, we're gonna be protected uh pretty much? I mean, it's always wise to wear your mask, but Right, if we right, take right. our mask well, off, are we a little bit more protected than we were without it? A hundred percent. And I would say, you know, what I do personally and, and even my family, because my um, my sons both play basketball. So we go to uh, basketball tournaments and, you know, um, I don't wear my mask all the time, but. I will definitely have this with me all the time. So even my son, you know, after a game, you know, he knows that he has to, you know, do at least a one minute sniff um, to make sure that anything that may have gotten, you know, in his nasal cavity will be removed. Um, You know, so that's really what, what I feel comfortable. And, you know, and, and I've made this statement before, you know, um, I will feel 100% comfortable going into a COVID clinic without a mask with clean air. Uh, And that's a a really bold statement. But um, I've been able to look at the, the data, you know, from my team, from other people who, you know, been in contact with individuals who, you know, um, like I was in a meeting where, uh, me and one of my, uh, assistants was in a meeting where, you know, 15 people today, two days after tested positive for COVID except us, you know, because we had this, you know, my son's basketball team, uh, all wow. contracted COVID, uh, except him and his roommate because he had it in his, in his room. Uh, it is no, uh, that, that says it all right there. Yeah. Look, I mean, and, and, and I was saying your t- you said your son. You said your son, entire team tested positive. And because he does the treatment, he did not. Right. That is out of this world. I, I mean, okay, so. The press is something else. I mean, I guess you can call me somewhat of the press because this is what I do. But the press, I'm, I'm, I'm talking CNN, MSNBC. Um, I'm talking Fox News. I'm, I'm talking your local news channels. Why haven't I heard about this? Um, honestly, you will. Um, you know, it really took, uh, you know, part of why the product was even bought to me you know, is because of my connections and relationships, you know, uh, even, you know, if you looked at, um, you know, my, the safe pass IDS stations, you know, that I created, you know, uh, I was actually featured, uh, during HBC, uh, HBCU week at the white house, uh, was featured in the NIH recorder. Um, you know, so my ability to leverage and, and, you know, relationships and get things done is, you know, one of the reasons why the product was bought to me, Um, you know, so there's, you know, channels uh, that you have to go through in order to get this, um, you know, this type of product, you know, bought to mainstream. And, you know, it still has to be done at a way that, you know, ultimately is still in line with with the government's agenda and, and things that people want to, you know, see happen. Uh, so, you know, vaccination is is one of the uh, the keys right now, um, you know, so they, they're really pushing for everybody to get vaccinated, you know, but having something like this, you know, in addition, will assist with those vaccinated people, you know, not being reinfected. So it'll actually help the numbers to, you know, go down uh, as well as the overall um, uh, transmission rate. You know, so ultimately this product, uh, and I'm not saying, you know, is is supersedes the vaccine because that's really what, you know, 
individuals uh, are pushing for, but it will definitely uh, be that uh, assistance for those that are and are not vaccinated, you know, and then, you know, going forward, you know, past COVID, this is definitely the solution. Uh, but ultimately what this will do is in order even for the vaccines to work, we have to somehow get ahead of the variances and we have to, you know, be able to um, keep the variances at a minimum, you know, so that the the vaccine is in line with the variant, you know, uh, by having uh, a solution such as this, we could help those variances, you know, um, you know, subside, you know, which would ultimately allow for that vaccination, you know, to be extremely effective, you know, so then that's really, you know, what our push and our angle would be. Um, and like I said before, uh, this is truly, uh, it sounds like this is truly the answer on what our country has been needed. Um, I understand that in, over in Australia, I think it is, is it Australia? Mm -hmm. What have you, they've already, you know, um, put in their country, they're, they're starting, to, you know, they, they've started using this a while back. So their numbers are not as high as America's numbers are right now. So right. it, that should tell you something right there. Um, and basically, man, I, I, I've been vaccinated. Okay. But the thing is, I work with the public as well. So I see a lot of people on a day to day basis, but I will feel much more safer uh, with the jail cap because I don't want to, even though I'm vaccinated, whether I become affected or not, or even if I'm just, a, I don't even want to be a carrier. Mm -hmm. to give it to someone else because if yeah. it is with the vac vaccine i can still get the virus it's just right. not going to kill me right. hopefully right. you know but your solution is you know let's kill it before it happens let's block it let's shield it right um and and that to me is so much more um wiser and so much more important and you know, it makes all the difference in the world to stop it in our country from spreading. And, and again, you know, I don't think enough, I'm going to reach out to some of the schools, especially, you know, um, and some of the, the larger businesses that I am affiliated with um, to get this out there um, to, 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 you know, spread it throughout our country. Um, because right now, man, I mean, a lot of people are still nervous. I'm still nervous. I don't want this country to shut down again right. and you already know that's it, it's and the re the reality we're on our way once yeah, again. the reality is it's already happened they just hadn't set the date um, you know because if you look at you know kind yeah. of the worldwide spread is one of those things where you have to balance economics and safety you know and that's what we were doing before um you know and we're trying to hold on as much as possible because so many people are resistant to you know, doing what's best for the greater good of everyone, you know, uh, so we really have to, you know, figure out a way and put together a plan of action that will at least help us, you know, stay open, you know, and, and at the same time, help people stay safe. And that's what, you know, my product, um, you know, actually does. And, and that's really why, you know, I got involved, you know, when I, um, when I did with the product, because, you know, I saw, you know, the benefit and initially, even before I came out with this, uh, or partnered with the company with this, you know, my mission with, you know, just a safe pass was to, um, you know, be able to save or help save at least a billion lives. And with this product, uh, without a doubt, um, that react that could actually become a reality um it sounds like it's already become uh, it's not like it's already reality um and and yeah in our country um unfortunately a, a lot of this is because of politics sad to say and i don't want to get into the politics part but for those of you who are now just joining us if you didn't join us earlier let me just, you know, just sum this up in a nutshell. Um, we're talking about safe, flat, pass, clean air. 
And basically what that is, for those of you in your homes, there is a way that you can sanitize the air in your home with a product that would actually kill COVID on contact. Will it actually kill black mold on contact? Okay. And um, the product is real. It's here. There's uh, different ways of using it. You have a gel cap there that you can use. You can actually take that with you no matter where you go. There's also another form of it, which you can put in your um, your AC units um, or your HVAC unit and so forth to cleanse your air. So if you have um, someone in your family who you love very much, high risk, like a mother, father, sister, brother, niece, nephew, spouse, sick loved one, then you definitely, if you have missed it, should go back to the beginning of this program and listen um, to what we were just talking about, what this product is capable of doing, okay? And also, um, I, you know, I also want to, I just want to talk, I'm just going to hold you a little while longer. I'm not going to hold you too much longer uh, because this is so important that everybody should know about this. And there's not enough people knowing about this right now, knowing that this can actually save lives. Not just because something, and some people have like, okay, oh man, my cousin got it. Oh man, my aunt got it. Or what have you. And they haven't struck in their home yet. Mm -hmm. That's when it really hits you. When it hits home and it's in your house, your wife or your child or your husband, what have you. Now it's home. Now you're afraid. Oh God. I hope he doesn't. You know, I hope it don't kill us or or what have you. Here's an answer for you right now. This is the product that cleans and sanitizes your air. And, uh, you know, you guys, there's the number, you know, I'll, I'll put the number up. You can contact me or you can just look it up through Safe Pass Clean Air. Um, and I'll, I will also have a link up here for you as well. You can click on that link and go directly to the site. Um, as a matter of fact, um, by clicking that link, you'll see um, there's there's a discount there. Uh, save yourself a little money, all right. But um, if you if your child is in a school, you're unsure about it. You need to inquire um, and ask them what are they doing to sanitize the air in the schools that your kids are in right now. Because even if your kid don't get sick, but they bring it home to you, that's a high possibility right now in the world that we're living in, unfortunately. But uh, thanks to this product, Safe Air Clean, I mean, Safe Pass Clean Air, you know, there is a solution. So, you know, the new now, or, you know, because we're never gonna go back to our fully, our 100% our old ways. That's the thing in the past. Because this virus, these pathogens are here to stay. They're here to stay. So it's up to you to catch up with the time or you're left behind. Now, with that being said, uh, Mr. Tolley, how fast, if a person is interested right now, can this product get to that person? Uh, if they uh, purchase with uh, express shipping tomorrow, you know, other than that, uh, it's typically the two to three day delivery. Okay, and that and that's awesome. That, that's a that's a quick turnaround, and because I mean we're all you know a lot of people are afraid, you know. I've, I've me been one of them. I'm not gonna lie, me been one of them. I'm still funny when I go into a gas station, and you know uh, people doing a lot of talking around me or what have you, because I've been affected in more than one way. You know, um, like I said, you know, um, I have a family member which I won't speak on who it is, but, um, you know, thank God um, they made it through because they're, you know, they're of age. They're up there in age. So I was highly concerned. I was very much worried. And, you know, thank God 
thank God, man, you know, because I was just, I was afraid. It was two people. And now that's never going to happen again. Thanks to Safe Pass Clean Air. Mr. Tolley, I want to thank you for coming on to our show tonight, Quarantine Happy Hour. Um, um, please, you know, um, come back to visit us again. Um, we got to keep this conversation going in the public because the public just don't know. It seems like the press uh, will let them know when they want them to know. But right now, you guys watching the show, you know now. Here's your ticket. Here's your way out. Mr. Tolley, thank you for joining our show tonight. Thank you for having me. And we will see you again soon. Thank you guys once again for watching the Quarantine Happy Hour. With that being said, you guys have a wonderful evening. And until next time.